Hey guys, it's Darren here coming to you once again from inside the locker, Vapor's Locker right here in Torquay. And today I'm just doing a little video to go over once again something I posted on our Instagram page yesterday. Just a little bit more detail for you, that being this little beauty right here, the breeze kit from Aspire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what comes in the box as well as how to fill it, how to change the coil and how to vape it. So, uh... Let's go. So here's the box that your Aspire Breeze Kit is going to come in. And then inside the box you will receive your Breeze device, two 0.6 ohm coils, six extra O-rings, one micro USB cable, a warranty card and a user manual as well. So obviously for those of you that aren't going to use this uh, video as a tutorial, there is a user, user manual in there for you as well. So the device is right here. So from top to bottom, we're just going to have a look at this right now. Firstly, big, big, big props for finally including what many people have been asking for for such a long time, and that is this dust cap or uh, drip tip protector, if you like. A lot of people like to travel with their devices in their pockets or their bags and get all manner of bits and pieces inside the device. By using this cap, as you can see, that is not going to happen. So to access the device, we're simply going to lift the cap off, place it down there. And then as you can see, you are ready to vape. So this has two manners of firing. One can be used as an auto inhale, very similar to eLeaf's eye care, in which you just bring the device to your lips, inhale from the drip tip, exhale. If you would like to uh, take advantage of the preheat, you can use this firing button here, hold the button down, bring it to your lips, and then vape that way as well. That's um, obviously gonna be used for something that's you know a little bit warmer. For those of you who like the slightly warmer style vape, um, I would suggest using, using the button. So to get to the inside of the vise, we're just going to lift off the drip tip here. Nice snug, snug fit with that one. And as you can see, we've got these two little grooves. If a camera can pick that up, two little grooves just there. And on the bottom of this device, you can see the, uh, the little metal protrusion there. That's going to be used to go into those two grooves. Unscrew the device, or unscrew the chimney section rather. And then we remove the chimney section. So one of your coils is going to be attached to this portion here. The juice will be filled just up to that red line. Drop the chimney section back into place. And then the same way you undid it, we shall just use that little section again. Just screw that back into place, nice and securely. Doesn't need to be done overly tight, just I would suggest once, once it wants to stop moving, I would just leave it right there. So many people uh, so many people like to uh, sort of have that little extra over tighten. Um, it's very, very counterproductive to vaping uh, products. So we're just going to do that nice and finger tight. Press fit that back over the top. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, you'll get a little illumination there on the side. Inhale, and you are ready to vape. So this is a 650 milliamp hour battery. Wouldn't let that put you off though, to be fair, because Aspire, being the company that thinks of everything, they have also come up with this little bag-friendly or pocket-friendly charging dock, if you like. Um, I like to think of it more as a power bank. It holds 2,000 milliamps of battery, so all you would do is charge this portion here via the micro USB on the back, and then if you know you're out and about for a long day, your battery's starting to run low, all you're going to do is just slide your breeze kit into there. You'll get a light on the front, and as you can see then, that is now charging your device. So no need to worry about battery life at all. Great little hitter. Awesome for, uh, for being pocket friendly. Just a really, really solid piece of kit. And they are available in store now, priced at £25, with the charging dock available for a further £10 as well. Not necessity, but as I say, if you're going for those longer days out, it's certainly something I would recommend. Um, any further questions on that? 
You know where we are, Unit 9, Union Square, Torquay. Feel free to pop down, say hello, and ask me as many questions as you deem possible. I shall look forward to seeing you. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.